So guys, for the first step, you're gonna head over to search and type in settings, click on it. And then once you're on this on the left hand side, you're gonna click on Bluetooth and devices. Now you're gonna scroll down till you find touch. I'm using a virtual machine, so it's not gonna be showing for me. But in your case, you should be having a setting that's called touch. You're gonna click on touch and then you wanna turn it on. And now for the second step on the left hand side, you're gonna click on accessibility. And now you're gonna click on mouse pointer and touch. Now you're gonna scroll down and now where it says touch indicator, make sure that you have this turned on. Turn on touch indicator. And now for the next step on the left hand side, you're gonna click on windows update. Now you're gonna scroll down and then click on advanced options. And now you're gonna turn this on. Receive updates for other Microsoft products. You're gonna turn this on. And now you're gonna go back to windows update. And then you're gonna click on check for updates. Make sure your computer is fully up to date. And now for the next step, you're gonna head over to search again and type in device manager. Click on it. And then once you're on this, you wanna expand mice and other points and devices. You need to repeat this for all the mouse that you see that will come up. Repeat this for all of them. So you wanna right click on it and then click on update driver and then click on search automatically for drivers. Make sure that you have the best drivers for device installed. You want to repeat what I just showed you for the other mice that you have in this list. Also, if your mouse comes with a software like my one does, you want to go to your software and then go to your mouse and then go to settings. Make sure that your mouse or your touchpad is fully up to date for the software itself. And now for the last step, you just want to simply restart your computer and then the problem should be fixed.